right, so we're going to be talking about relief um, printmaking, okay? But before we get into it, I just kind of want to show you the supplies that you're going to be using. Um, it looks like a lot, but it's really not. Um, it's just different things that we use, all right? So uh, the paint, and you notice I kind of have a green thing going on here. It does not matter, all right? Uh, the section went over it. Um, make sure that you've checked it out, okay? So here we have, all right, you're gonna need some kind of marker. It doesn't matter what color, it doesn't really matter, okay? For, to do the inking, all right, you're gonna be doing two different types of um, ink and paint on here. You will need these three items, excuse me, four items, okay? Uh, for paint, I would suggest the paintbrush. You'll be using this as the base. Uh, damp paper towel, okay, Oops. all right, it's not super wet. Uh, the ink pads. There are several different kinds of ink pads. I'm going to talk a few about them in the, um, the video, but you really just need one, okay? Not all three, just one, all right? Okay, and then last but not least, the gouges, which we're going to go over. There are several different sizes. Uh, honestly, you just need one, um, but I'm going to talk about uh, the different sizes. Okay, so let's hook this up and um, let's get to work. Okay, so let's zoom in just a little bit. Here we go. All right, so relief printmaking. So what is relief printmaking? Okay, this is a form, and by the way, whenever you see me writing, I want you to write it too, okay? Don't leave these blank, because I'm looking for that in your practices as well. Okay, it says this form of printing is done from a raised surface. All right, so what does that mean? So I'm gonna show you a couple examples of one. Um, this is the one that you're gonna probably be making something similar in your practice, okay? It is, yes, an eraser, but the space, now I left this stained, so you can see this. This is the raised area. Anything we carved down didn't get printed, all right? So I'm gonna move that. Here are a couple examples. Um, it's a person, they have their arm up, okay, hair, a wave. As you can kind of see, these are very different. This is for the practice. If you were gonna make one for your focus project, I would give you obviously a much bigger, you know, piece of rubber. All right, um, ice cream cone, a couple of flowers, different kinds, okay. Ivy, or kind of looks like ivy, kind of looks like leaves. Pretty cool, all right? So we can kind of see that they're from waves. So this is a simple example of relief print Printing is a rubber stamp pressed onto a stamp pad, okay? So if we imagine we stamped that, okay? And pressed on a piece of paper. Relief printing plates are made from a flat sheet of materials such as wood, linoleum, rubber, or styrofoam. So these come in, as it just says, different styles, okay? Now, you may have used styrofoam when you were younger, but now we're actually getting to a little bit more, um, I don't know, durable kind of material that you could actually use this quite a bit, okay? Um, we could use this over and over and over, and if we were done with it, we could always use it as a eraser, which is cool. Okay. Okay, after drawing a picture on the surface, all right, so that's where, how most of the people start off with, okay, the artist uses what's called a gouge. Okay, by the way, this is called a gouge, all right, to cut away the area that will not be printed. A roller called a brayer, this is a brayer, is used to spread a small amount of ink on a bench hook. This is a bench hook. A very thin layer of ink is rolled onto the stamp and then placed on top of the paper. Okay, so what's there, the, this is, by the way, traditional printmaking, okay? And I'm gonna show you some other ways, too. So basically what happens is I take this, I roll paint on it, roll it onto my stamp, okay? I take my stamp, print it. Pretty simple. So this is the completed print is the mirror image of the original. So what we see here, it comes out opposite, okay? So just know that one image is called a print and multiple images called a series. 
So we know a couple little bit things about um, the terminology for this relief printmaking. Right? So let's turn the page. All right, so first thing we want to do is we kind of want to just make some prints. All right, so you're going to actually go over to the printmaking area and you're going to pull, a, you know, one of the stamps. Um, it can be the DIY stamps or if you want to do one of the bought stamps. Not one of the ones that have the hard, there's a couple of them that have like really hard pieces on it. Don't use those, okay? So you want something that has, that's made of rubber, okay? So let's say I went over and I really wanted to print this one, all right? This kind of would fit in space yeah, creatively, I guess, okay? So here we are. It says how to print. There are several ways to print, regardless of which one you do. Wash your stamp off each time you choose a different color, okay? Or, even better, a different medium. So if you're choosing, like, um, the Crayola marker and you want to go to ink pad that might be green, okay? Actually, this one's green. They're two different, all right? You still got to wipe them. So that's why I kind of have the wet paper towel here, so it helps out. All right, so first thing we're going to do is Crayola marker. For this one, you're going to need... These two things, okay? So this is actually pretty neat. So this only works out with Crayola because Crayola has um, kind of like a water base because it's washable. It won't work with permanent, um, so it has to be washable. So what I do is, oh, not working. Hold on, let me grab another one. Sorry. Let's grab, um, actually, I'm going to show you. Here's one that won't. The, Mitch, the Mr. Sketch ones, these are kind of permanent. They're not gonna work, so sorry. Out we go. All right, there we go. So this is really neat. So what happens here is I'm coloring the raised area. And by the way, I could choose any color combination. If I wanted to do, let's say, green over here and purple in a different section, I totally could, okay? And don't worry if it dries, it's not the end of the world. It's actually okay. Okay, so here we go. So I colored in my whole stamp, right? And now it's dry. You're like, well, how is that gonna stamp? So that's when this comes into hand, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're not gonna squirt really close. Actually, you're gonna kind of hold it far away. Woo, all right? Um, I'm gonna go off screen and just mist it a little bit. Take it, see how it's a little wet? Turn over. Okay. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I know it is. All right. So that is with Crayola marker. All right. I'm gonna just wash this off. All right, because I'm going to the next one. All right. So that is with Crayola marker. Next one is ink. Now it says right here. Okay. Small amount of ink and mist with water will very thin or paint it on thin. Okay, so let's go on to this. All right, so this is block printing ink, okay? Um, if you're using a, a much bigger one, okay, or doing traditional block printing, this is kind of what you would use, all right? Um, it is water-based, which is pretty cool, water-soluble. That means it will come out. Um, honestly, I'd be very careful. I would uh, pull up your sleeves for this one so you don't get anything dirty. Okay, and this, by the way, a little goes a long way, okay? So that's my tutorial on that. Okay, so the, the bench hook, you wanna make sure this goes on the edge of the table. So imagine that's the edge of the table, it goes right up against it, okay? Now for this demonstration, I'm kinda gonna hold it away um, so you guys can see it. Fortunately, it's not gonna be quite on the edge of the table. All right, all right, so not that, that works good enough. All right, so when we're putting on the ink, all right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up and you're gonna use an extremely small amount. So I put on, oh, this one looks like it's starting to really, all right, small, small amount. Now, sometimes it comes out very fast, sometimes it comes out very slow. All right, so you can kind of see that it's a small amount. Now, normally it's not this thick. This one's just thick because, well, it's running out, all right? Water is gonna make it go a little bit more smooth, all 
right? So this is hooked onto the side of the table. And I'm just gonna mix around the water. You don't want it too much, and you kind of hear it, it's kind of loud, all right? So the one thing that's easy to remember this, why it sounds, why it's, it's labeled brayer, it's because it sounds like a braying donkey. Yeah, I know, that's rough. <laughs> so printing with this, all right? Do not, I repeat, ready? Do not take this, put it straight on. That's not how it works, actually, okay? So how it really works is you take this, okay, pardon me, and you roll it onto your stamp. Okay. Nice. You take this, and you're going to just place it on. Pat it, nice, even, don't smush it, okay? Because if you smush it too much, the ink might actually come out from underneath and go into the cracks, okay? So we're just gonna pat that, okay? Ooh, nice, right? I know, it's very cool. All right, so that is when you're dealing with ink. Um, if, you, if you have too much ink, by the way, it will go into the cracks and you won't get such a nice um, print. Okay, so we're gonna take this, by the way, don't forget, magical warm water will make this like kind of just melt away. Take this in, wash it, put it back up, we're good to go. All right, paint. All right, I'm gonna use my bench hook, all right, for the paint. Now remember, if you're using this kind of paint um, container, it comes out so super fast, all right? So when you're doing this, um, there we go. All right. So for this, I am going to wipe this off. All right. Because, yeah, it's green, but it's a different medium. I don't want to mess with it. Okay. Beautiful. Now, you could do the brayer, which is absolutely fine. Or if you get a flat brush. All right. Now, I'm going to make sure I hydrate this because that's looking a little wet. There we go. Not looking there we are. Make this a little bit, a little bit smoother. I can take this and I can paint it as well. You just remember, you're gonna need to kind of go fast because this paint will dry. So I'm gonna paint it. Now, obviously, this probably wouldn't work if you had a really large stamp because it, it would dry by the time you're ready to go. All right, here we go. Let's see. I'm gonna put it this way. Really neat how each one has a different effect. It's so cool. Okay, so that is paint. Now, as you can see, paint doesn't really give you a clear um, image, but that might be what you're looking for. All right, last but not least, stamp pad. All right, now I'm gonna just wash off my stamp one more time. I don't know about you, but uh, let me tell you, this uh, I wet paper towel is starting to look quite interesting. Kind of cool. Alright, so in regards to the stamp pads, okay, I have a couple of them. Um, I have the dot markers. They're absolutely fine to use. You um, pretty much dot the surface of this, okay. The small ones like this will fit, okay. If you're interested in doing this one, um, this does dry out that um, so what you need to do is just kind of like dampen it and it should start to get rehydrated okay um, if it's not let me know we'll see what we can do okay uh, for this one I think I'm gonna do uh, oh, you know what let's let's see if I can um, hydrate it Hold on. there we are notice I didn't put a lot okay, I'm gonna take it kind of sponge it on are. Last one. Ooh, nice, right? You're like, well, that's not as dark. Give me a shade. I use the black. So I know the black is working. All right. Woo! -hoo. Pretty. 
pretty, pretty nifty. All right, so I'll go right over it, give it like a really cool up. Okay, it's actually offset. It's pretty cool. Okay, so as we can see, all the different medias have mediums. Excuse me, media would be one medium have a different look to them, okay? And you might say, you know what, I really want a blurry look because I don't want it to be really noticeable. The background, I want it to fade. So I put something on top. Maybe you want something clear. Maybe you want something clear and faded. Maybe you want like a dry, you know, kind of faded look. All different kinds of cool things, okay? Um, don't forget, cleanup is so important. It takes just a little bit of warm water to wash everything off. Okay, so our next thing is, how do we make these things, all right? We, uh, we kind of went over how to print them, which is great. Now, how do we carve them? Now, just to let you know, this is a little bit tougher rubber than this, okay? So when you're carving this, you might need to be a little bit more cautious on how you carve, okay? Both of them, you should be careful. All right, so how does this work? I'm gonna do one, and then we'll go from there. So first thing I want to actually go over, okay, is when you're drawing, um, it says to sketch it out first to get the design right, all right? My suggestion is, uh, you know, sketch it out. Uh, come up with an idea. So let's see, I, I might be able to do a cupcake on here. Um, instead of me drawing on here, I need to kind of like come up with an idea. So let's see if I go here, curve up here, and I might be able to do here. be able to do lines on that. All right, I think I could do that on here, okay? It says transfer the image to the stamp, all right? So I'm gonna put in. So. So we have the image, okay? Now notice I kind of made a little, you know, it went over it. It's not gonna matter unless I carve that out and then it's an issue, okay? So I have that. All right. Okay, it says, uh, care of, oh, careful, all the areas that you don't want um, to print. Okay, skim the top layer of the stamp. And make sure that you see the two metals. All right, well, what does that mean? So this is a gouge, all right? This is what I'm talking about. So you're gonna be careful. Um, you're going to carve. Sorry. I know. It says, okay, let's carve. Carve all the areas that you don't want to print. So when we carve, we carve away from our fingers. I know it's going to be very, very, very natural to want to go like this way, but just remember, you don't want stitches. Mrs. Smith doesn't want you to have stitches, okay? Your mom and dad don't want you to have stitches. So what are you going to do? Not carve towards yourself. Okay. So you're going to hold it like this. So there's a V right here. The bottom part where the number is always goes down and you're gonna see the two edges, all right? So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna carve away. And these two edges, the top, are gonna stay on top, all right? So we can actually carve this away, all right? Um, I can even actually chop some of this stuff up. Perfect. Um, by the way, for this stuff, you can cut with scissors, okay? So if I didn't want this, I might be able to cut all of this out, okay? A little bit different when you're dealing with, yes, this part. All right, so you can be careful, curve away, and you want to carve downwards. You don't want to go too deep, okay? Because if you go too deep, what happens is it becomes very soft and wiggly, all right? So see how this is kind of getting really wiggly here, all right? Plus, you, wanna, you don't want to go through it. So I'm going to go around, all right? So let's see, I want my, oh, let's see, what do I want, what do I want, what do I want? I want the outside to stay solid, okay, so I got that to be solid, that's going to be solid, I'm going to come in here. By the way, any of this raised area that you leave, see, this is pretty deep, if it's raised, what happens is you get like it picks up some of this um, stuff what's called chatter the okay, chatter is like the scrapings when it's not deep enough this would be chatter right here okay so if you don't want chatter 
You're gonna have to like really carve down. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is kind of the boring part. Um, another thing, ladies and gentlemen, is if you want, now I'm gonna be carving on the line, but if you want a, an image where the line is what you're, you're leaving, you have to carve around your line. And also, the gouges come in different sizes. I'm gonna go this way because I need to come away. There we are. Sometimes it's just kind of like work with it just a little bit. Now normally I would probably use this and I would oh, cut it out with scissors, but this is a really thick, so I kind of like just chop away at this. Be able to kind of see the edge. Okay, not so bad. Let's do this line right here. One. Try to stay away from my fingers. All right. Um, oh, back to what I was saying. They come in different sizes. There is the numbers that are on the back tell you the size of your actual gouge. Okay. So for example, this is a number one. It's a very dirty number one. Um, this is great for small, small details. But just to let you know, sometimes people find that this one is really frustrating because it digs so shallow. Okay. So I'm going to kind of dig a little bit around here so my little top comes off. There we go. All right. Uh, there we are. If, by the way, if yours is doing like this and it's not carving means you're you're you have it the wrong way you need to turn it over all right and by the way they make really large ones okay so maybe this might be a little bit better to get some this large area beautiful all right so let's go around here all right there it is not bad right okay so what what do we do says um clean up the sides, I cleaned up the sides, uh, you know, and then we're ready to print. And by the way, let me, let me go and print this one. Let's see how it looked. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, it needs a little bit more. Nice. All right, I'm gonna give it a go. Hey, hot dog. Not bad, right? Okay, so for the back, you will be creating your own, okay? This is designing your own stamp. You're gonna create your own little stamp, all right? So stamps come in all different sizes and designs. Create your own stamp and print it to create a pattern to fill the page below. You may carve out of the back too if you want a double stamp. So if you want, you could actually carve in something here. So for example, all right, let's say I just want to do something simple. Remember, stay away from your fingers. totally just stamp that. Did you see that? That's awesome. Okay, so let's say I wanted to do a pattern. So it's going to be something like this. Go through, and by the way, you can print with any of the stamps, okay? You come up with your own thing. All right, so I got this, got that, okay. All right, so I have that one pattern. And let's say I want to flip this over, all right? All right? Let's flip that over and I wanted to do, I don't know. Let me do the paint because I had the extra paint here. Definitely needs more water. All right. So kind of fill the space up, all right? Um, honestly, it doesn't matter. I did another one, the other one that I had, okay, this one. 
I created this design. I just flipped it back and forth. All right, um, and it's up to you, okay? All right, um, that is it for the relief printmaking. Um, when you're done, you see all these like, little rubber pieces? They need to go in the garbage, okay? You need to clean up your entire mess. Um, and this, it's up to you. You want to keep it to use it again, go for it. You could donate it or honestly, <laughs> you can clean it off and you can use it as an eraser, all right? Um, the erasers, they're still pretty good. All right, and that's it.